Streams and I.O. in Java. Streams. Stream is a sequence of data and in Java, stream is composed of bytes. Java performs I.O. through streams. File handling in Java can be performed by Java I.O. API, Application Program Interface. Package used for input-output is Java.io. In Java, three streams are created, System.out, Standard Output Stream, System.in, Standard Input Stream, System.err, Standard Error Stream. The objects used in streams are input stream reader and output stream reader. Java provides strong but flexible support for input output related to files and networks. But this tutorial covers very basic functionality related to streams and I.O. The two objects used in streams are input stream reader and output stream reader. Input stream reader is used to read data from a source. It's classified into file input stream, byte array input stream, object input stream, filter input stream. It's classified into buffer input stream and data input stream. In file input stream, it's meant for reading streams of raw bytes such as image data. Byte array input stream contains internal buffer that contains bytes and may be read from stream. Object input stream can be used to read and deserialize objects previously serialized by an object output stream. Filter input stream contains input stream which is used as a basic source of data, possibly transforming data along the way or providing additional functionalities. Output stream reader, it's used to write data to a destination. They are further classified into file output stream, byte array output stream, object output stream, and filter output stream, which is classified into buffer output stream and data output stream. File output stream is an output stream for writing data to a file. Byte array output stream is used for writing an array of byte to a stream. Object output stream is to write primitive data type of object to output stream. And filter output stream class is a super class of R classes and contains output stream which it uses as a basic sync of data, possibly transforming data along the way or providing additional functionality. Now this is a simple example to explain the input output stream. I am using the package java.io to use the input, input output operation. The mobile is used as a class in which the basic operations are going to be involved. Three attributes, namely name, model name and the mobile name have been used, where the mobile name is used for getting the input from the user. Two types of functions have been used, input function and the description function. In input function, we are getting the input from the user and with the help of the buffer reader, which acts as a temporary storage, um, BR dot read line we are getting the input from the user and in the system dot out dot print ln I'm printing the mobile name in the description function the mobile name that I'm getting from the user is verified with the string that is available in the name if it matches the mobile name along along with the model name is printed else an error fun error is thrown this mobile class is called from the main class name IO stream demo and the mobile MOB is equal to mobile new mobile. This is a basic declaration method for declaring a object for the class mobile. MOB dot input is used to call the input function and MOB dot description is used to call the function description. Finally, Finally, the output output will be like this. If I'm get if I'm entering Samson as the input, the name if the name matches with the string that is available in the program, it is display the name mobile name along with the model name is displayed. Here, the Samson is given as the input since it matches the mobile the mobile name along with the model name is displayed. As such, as such for Micromax and Apple, 
uh, the outputs have been displayed. If any error occurs, the uh, exception is thrown. Uh, 